Good morning. Rise up in hope today. The early bird truly does get the word this morning. It is much earlier than usual, but I am being directed to do this now, so I will. And the devotional is called Remain Faithful. Remain Faithful. We've been in the book of Daniel, and uh, starting Monday, we will tackle those six verses, those six chapters that have to do with visions and uh, things that we'll learn together. That'll start on Monday. But for today, remain faithful. I want to just read the study app of, the, of chapter 12, the last chapter in the book of Daniel. And I want to just read the last verse, uh, 12, 13. It says, as for you, Daniel... Go your way till the end. You will rest. And then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. As for you, Daniel, go on your way till the end. You will rest. And then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. What a wonderful thing to hear God say. At the end of you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. And the study app here says, Daniel stands tall in the gallery of God's remarkable servants, born of royal heritage, yet taken into captivity when only a teenager. Daniel determined to remain faithful to God in the land of his captivity. Even at great personal cost, Daniel spent his entire lifetime advising his captors with unusual wisdom. God chose him as his servant to record some of the events of the captivity and some significant events concerning the future. As an old man, having been faithful to God throughout his years, Daniel was assured by God that he would rise from the dead and receive his portion in God's eternal kingdom. Faithfulness to God has a rich reward, not necessarily in this life, but most certainly in the life to come. I want to read that again. As an old man, having been faithful to God throughout his years, Daniel was assured by God that he would rise from the dead and receive his portion in God's eternal kingdom. Faithfulness to God has a rich reward, not necessarily in this life, but most certainly in the life to come. Yes, the life to come. That's what we as believers should have on our radar. It is eternal, the kingdom of God. And that's where um, we fix our gaze and we have our hope and we, we operate from that system. And it's a beautiful system. So remaining faithful, the definition of faithful, firm in adherence, loyal, worthy of trust, devotion. This is the biblical definition of faithful, firm in adherence, loyal, worthy of trust and devotion. And this morning we're going to ask a few questions because I find that when we ask questions, we get smarter because it makes us think. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions. And also, I just want to put out there that you have questions for God. Take them to him. He's not afraid of your questions and he wants to hear from you. And so I encourage us to always Take our questions to God and just ask him, be real with him. So the first question is, am I firm in sticking with Jesus? Because firm in adherence is like sticking glue. Firm. Faithfulness is firm in adherence. So number one, am I firm in sticking with Jesus, with the Bible? Do I, am I firm when I'm out of my own four walls? Or do I shrink back and become almost uh, almost not even being able to be seen? What do I do? Am I firm in sticking with Jesus and with the Bible? Number two, am I loyal to my faith? 
Am I loyal to my faith? Is my life lined up with my lips? Is my life lined up with my lips? The Bible says their lips are saying one thing, but their hearts are far. And this hurts God. Of course it would. In any relationship that you're in, if you're saying you love, but you abuse and bully and beat, that hurts. How much more would it hurt God? Number three, can God trust me? Can God trust me? Because God gives secrets to the ones that he can trust. And number four, am I devoted to God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit? Am I devoted to the ones I proclaim to be my superpowers, my, my faith, my you fill in the blank. Am I devoted to God? We can be devoted to many gods, but are, am I devoted to the one true living God, the Trinity, God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit? So when we ask those questions, that's based upon the definition of faithful. Faithful definition, firm in adherence, loyal, worthy of trust and devotion. So after I've asked those questions and I've been honest with myself and God already knows the honesty, he already knows the truth. But then I ask myself, do I want to be? Do I want to be? If I've asked those, answered those questions and some of them are like, hmm, I don't know about that. Then I get to say, then I get to decide, do I want to be firm in adherence loyal, worthy of trust, and do I want to be devoted to God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit? And if I want that, then I ask. Because God says, ask and you shall receive. He's pretty simple. We get complicated, but he's not. So if you want to be firm, in your adherence to him, if you want to be loyal to Jesus Christ, if you want to have God trust you and be worthy of trust, if you want to be devoted, then you ask. And if we ask, we will receive. We will receive. And it is God's intention for him to give good gifts to his kids. And Daniel was a man of faithfulness. He was so faithful. He stood and he was just who he was. He didn't, he wasn't two personalities, one in this environment, one in this. No, he was who he was. And he was constantly surrounded by the supernatural, miraculous favor of God. I don't know who wouldn't want that. But there are those that don't. But not me. Not me. And I don't know about you, but these are the questions that God is asking me to present to us today in Rise Up in Hope. What do you really want? And after you ask those questions, if they want, if the want is to be faithful, then we get to ask God and get ready because he will answer you in a very profound way because he is faithful. When we're faithless, he remains faithful because he is God and that does not change in his character or nature. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity to increase our faithfulness to you, God. I thank you that Daniel is a great role model in this department and we do want, well, those that want it will ask and I want it. So, God, I thank you that today you will increase my ability to be firm in adherence, to be loyal to you, God, to be worthy of trust, God, and to be devoted to you. That's my heart's desire. And I know that you will answer me, and I know that you will help me, and through your Holy Spirit power, it will increase today in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day.